right, so I was just going inside, finishing up the day. Got a call from my cousin, his Toyota RAV4. He thought ran out of gas, and it turns out it was not out of gas. Somebody brought him gas, and it still won't start. Don't know what's going on with it, but I hooked up the trailer, and we're headed to the expressway. We're gonna rescue him, get it loaded up, get it home, and see what's going on with it. All right, so today we're gonna check out this Toyota RAV4. I'm gonna go out with the X-Tool. We're gonna program the fuel pump program. We're gonna uh, actuate the fuel pump, listen for it to turn on. If it does turn on, I'm gonna throw some, some more fuel in it and see if it'll fire up. We'll just drive it off the trailer and it'll be fixed. If not, we'll get it inside here and see what's going on. It's freezing. Like 16 degrees or something. This is the, uh, this is the RAV. All right, let's command the fuel pump on and listen for it. Okay, so the fuel pump is running. Can you, let's see if you guys can hear it. I heard some gurgles and stuff too, let's see. All right, I'm sorry about the angle, but let's see if you guys can hear it. Ready? It sounds like some splashing. Okay, so it runs. So I think we better put some fuel in it and maybe some some gasoline antifreeze and then we'll drive it off the trailer. Let's add some dry gas to it just in case he got a shot of water from somewhere, but I gotta believe that if he did, it would still be frozen. It did start a minute ago like you saw. So we'll do that, and now we'll add some, some fuel to it. So hey, let's not give him too hard a time. He's only had it about two weeks, and uh, the fuel gauge probably isn't as accurate as it should be. We're gonna add four gallons to it. We'll fire it up, let it run for a few on the trailer. And uh, if it continues to run and everything works out okay, we'll get it unloaded. Maybe we'll pull it inside. We'll throw the charger on the battery for a few if necessary. And uh, we'll see if we can test the fuel pressure and make sure the fuel pressure is um, where it should be. I should have taken, this can already had fuel in it inside the shop there. I should have taken it with me last night and tried that first. But with the story that I was getting, it sounded like he'd already added a bunch of fuel to it. Is that tire low? Hmm. That's the thing about owning all these vehicles and tractors and motorcycles. It's like something that always needs maintenance. The old Ford there, that thing still needs a couple things. Now we got issues with the trailer lights on the trailer. I hate trailer lights and trailer tires. I hate trailers all together, but it's one of those things that it's a necessary evil. But they always need work, it seems like. Now we had no stored codes. We had no pending codes. Ugh. Man, it's cold. God dang. <laughs> she's running it's showing about a quarter of a tank there we added four gallons to it let's let it warm up some I'm gonna go inside and warm up so we'll let this thing run for a few on the trailer and then I'll unhook all the straps throw the ramps down we'll back it off the trailer and then we'll get it inside check everything out make sure it's good before we turn it over to them there's our outside temperature right now zero degrees 
it feels like the North Pole. Let's make sure we're lined up with the ramps. All right, ramps look good. We're gonna probably run this thing right into a snowbank. for like 30 minutes while I was doing all that other crap so I would imagine it's okay it was just out of gas but we kind of need to double check uh, let's run the scan tool on it I don't remember what year this is but maybe it's new enough where we can see some fuel pressure with the scan tool maybe I've went over it with the scan tool there's a ton of information that I can see but unfortunately there's no sort of fuel pressure I can see that there's no codes there's no misfire data air fuel ratio looks good it's not like a lean condition like the pump is starving so i'll investigate whether or not we can test the fuel pressure and then we'll move on from there i suspect right now it was just out of fuel unfortunately nobody local to us has the adapter to check the fuel pressure on this wrap we should check the fuel pressure to make sure it's okay i promise i will update this if in a couple days or something it quits again like it is the pump getting weak and show my mistake i'm immediately going to go online and order the adapter that i need so i can have it here to check fuel pressure on yodas and things without a schrader valve i can't believe in all toyota's genius ideas and the way they design things they didn't just give us a schrader valve on the fuel rail to check the pressure but they didn't so here we are I had the battery charger on it for a while because the battery was a little bit low from the four ways last night. So I'm going to take it out. We'll drive it a little bit, get some RPMs on it, see if it stutters at all, if anything goes on. Otherwise, he's going to come get it and take off with it. It is a really cool vehicle. This Maybe this is what we need to replace uh, Alicia's Highlander with, is a RAV. The newer RAVs are a little bit bigger, almost the same size as the older Highlanders. So... I'm digging this with the little four cylinder and the option of four wheel drive for her. This, I, we probably need to find one of these. Okay, so we're driving the RAV. I found a road close to home that has a 70 mile an hour speed limit. We ain't breaking no laws. We drove it for a few miles at 70, it seemed just fine. It looks like the fuel gauge is just incorrect and he was out of gas. So a little bit anticlimactic, we didn't get to fix a whole lot, but we got to make some memories loading it on the trailer in the dark, in the freezing cold. And now we're going to head home, Todd's going to come out and pick it up. Maybe we can get him to chat a little bit with us. We'll make a pot of coffee in the shop. We'll unhook the scan tool. We'll tell him to head straight to the gas station with it. And here we are. So, thanks for watching.